The XV-25 Stealth Battlesuit first saw combat at the Kappa Mortis Incident, which was one of the final engagements of the Democles Gulf Crusade. These stealth suits work perfectly as small kill teams, which are great for infiltration. Which I suppose is why your votes have added them to our kill team. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is the end of the month or the beginning of the month, depending on what time I get this video edited and uploaded. And we're going to be adding to our kill team once again. And as you may have noticed, it's going to be the XV-25 Stealth Battlesuit, which isn't a mouthful to say at all. No, no, no. So this kit, nice and easy to put together. Main thing we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be going through the paint scheme that we are going to be doing on our kill team. So if you want to build some models yourself and paint them up, join the team, feel free to do so. This is going to be the guide predominantly on how to paint them up. Let's get this model put together. It was quite easy. All I had to do was literally slap these two sprues together, add a bit of water and watch the models grow. Now, when I'm painting, I like to put all the paints I'm gonna be using to one side into one of these trays. So I don't get mixed up with all my other paints and try to choose from all my selection I have and end up painting them with every color so that they look like they're from Top Nats. I have to keep re-recording this because I keep laughing. Um, <laughs> so the paints that we're using, so let's start with the armor. I like to use Eschen Gray and Administratum Gray. These are like the save files or the save place that I like to start with. I do add black into the ashen gray and white into the administratum gray, but that is with the matte black and the matte white from Army Painter so that I can get the different variants from a base cone all the way up to my highlights whilst doing the armor. Then I'm gonna move on to doing the cloth. So the cloth is done with Ufankti, Ufank, Ushank, Ushabati, that, the bone one. <laughs> and Vallejo's Pale Sand, and then we do a top highlight with the white from Army Painter. That's mostly how I do like the accent colors on the weapons and the cloth. After that, I like to do the weapon colors, and these are my three favorite colors to use together, and that is Word Bearer Red, Mephiston Red, and Wild Rider Red. I try to get this on almost every model that I use. But this is our weapon color and also some of the other accent colors around the model. So that could be a helmet on the sergeants. Sergeants? Cadre? Yeah, yeah. Whoever's in charge of the cadre <laughs> or our fire teams. Anyway, so going on to the blue, I like to use electric blue from Vallejo's game color and that gets mixed a lot with the matte white. And then we're going to go to our metals. So again, another army painter, we've got the plate mail metal and Citadel's brass scorpion. I like to do a lot of the Tau, I icon, tau iconography. <laughs> and then we've got our wash that I like to use, which is the army painter quick shade strong tone. Now it can be left as quite a thick liquid or watered down to be more of a wash. I quite like the versatility of it. Another paint that I haven't shown you is Radox Hide. That's mostly for the weathering at the end, put mud and that around their legs, and also any leathers, which can be mixed with other paints to brighten it up, give ourselves a highlight. So let's see it all in action and get painting. Come on then.
Now, you might be thinking, Rig, there's a lot of grey going on with these models. Their battle suits are grey, and you're doing the basing material grey? What's up with that? Well, the way I see it is the Tau are quite an advanced race. They've worked out to blend in with their environment. So if the most majority of the ground texture is going to be grey, they're operating in an urban environment, so their battle suits are going to be grey. Yeah, we'll leave out, you know, forget about the red and the white. <laughs> Let's ignore that for now. Um, the, re and the reason why I'm putting the Rhydox, Rhydox hide on is to get that brown on there to sort of break up a little bit of the greys towards the bottom of the bases and to separate them a little bit. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below. We will discuss and talk about whether to continue with this idea because I think we're done with the kill teams for now. It's We've got our stealth battle suits and we've got our drone main kill team. Here we are going to go into army size. So we need to start thinking about what we want in our army. Like maybe a commander or... <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> like I've... Uh, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, we might need more foot soldiers, maybe a hammerhead. I don't know. I'm going to have a look at my budget, see what I can afford maximum. And we'll go up to, and I'll put models up going up to that for the next boat. Let's get some votes done. Let's get some talking done. Let's decide about the basing. And more importantly, let's have a look at our new kill team. Guys, thank you for joining me on another video. And I really do hope to see you next time.